Customizing your WhatsApp bot immediately after deploying it is an essential step to ensure it functions exactly how you want it to. A WhatsApp bot is a versatile tool capable of automating tasks, enhancing your user experience, and introducing a host of features that make communication easier and more efficient. However, to unlock its full potential, you need to configure several settings. In this video, I'll take you through every aspect of customization, from changing prefixes to adding plugins, setting time zones, and much more. By the end of this video, you'll have a fully tailored bot that's ready to cater to your specific needs. Let's begin with the prefix. When you first deploy a WhatsApp bot, you'll notice that it typically comes with a default prefix, usually a dot the dot symbol or similar symbol. The prefix is what you type before a command to let the bot know you're issuing an instruction. For example, typing dot ping tells the bot to respond with its ping command output. While this default setup works, it can be limiting or cumbersome, especially if you're managing multiple bots or want a more personalized experience. The good news is that you can change this prefix or even remove it entirely. This is done using the set var prefix equals command of your choice. For instance, if you want to keep the prefix as a dot, you would type set var prefix equals dot. If you'd prefer a word as your prefix, say a Levanta, you would use set var prefix equals Levanta. This change would mean that all commands must now begin with Levanta instead of a dot. If you want multiple prefixes, you can use the command set var prefix equals caret, comma forward slash. This flexibility allows you to execute commands with any of these symbols as the prefix. Alternatively, if you want to eliminate prefixes entirely and execute commands directly, you set var prefix equals null. This is my preferred setting because it simplifies the process, there's no need to remember or type a specific prefix before issuing a command. Once the prefix is set, the next critical adjustment is the time zone. Bots are usually configured to a default time zone that might not align with your location. This can lead to confusion, especially if the bot's timestamps don't match your local time. Adjusting the time zone ensures that all time-dependent features, such as scheduled messages or logs, operate correctly. To set your time zone, use the command set var time zone equals followed by your region's time zone. For example, if you're in Nairobi, you type set var time zone equals Africa and Nairobi. If you're in Mumbai, the command would be set var time zone equals Asia in Mumbai. After setting the time zone, you can confirm the change by typing the menu command. The bot's header should now display the current time in your specified region. Next, let's talk about plugins. Your bot likely comes with an impressive array of built-in features, often over 200, but the ability to add custom plugins makes it even more powerful. Plugins are essentially add-ons that expand the bot's capabilities. Whether you want advanced moderation tools, fun commands for group chats, or integrations with other platforms, plugins can help you achieve this. To install the plugin, use the plugin command followed by the URL of the plugin you wish to add. For example, you can get a plugin that provides a way for seeing active members in a WhatsApp group, simply copy its URL and type plugin URL. The bot will automatically download and integrate the plugin into its system. This customization option allows you to tailor the bot to your specific needs and preferences. Another feature worth customizing is the anti-delete setting. This functionality lets you recover messages or media that others delete. It's particularly useful in group chats, where deleted messages might contain important information. You can configure this feature in four ways. P sends deleted messages to your private chat or pseudo account. G sends deleted messages to the group chat where they were originally deleted. JID sends deleted messages to a specific chat of your choice. OFF disables the anti-delete feature entirely. For example, if you want deleted messages to appear in your private chat, type set var anti underscore delete equals p. This ensures that any deleted content is redirected to your chat, giving you a comprehensive record of all conversations. Now, let's move on to the sudo feature. Sudo access allows other users to operate your bot with administrative privileges. This is particularly useful if you're managing a large community or need additional moderators. To grant sudo access, use the command set sudo followed by the phone number of the person you want to authorize. For example, 
typing set sudo 0123456789 grant sudo privileges to that number. This person will now have the ability to execute commands and manage the bot alongside you. Another important setting is whether to operate the bot in private or public mode. By default, most bots are set to private mode, meaning only the owner can use them. However, if you want other people to interact with the bot, you can enable public mode. To do this, use the command Zushi followed by the specific command you want to make public. For example, typing Zushi ping allows anyone to use the ping command. Public mode is a fantastic feature for group chats or communities, as it enables members to interact with the bot directly. However, it's essential to use this feature responsibly to prevent misuse. You might want to limit public commands to non-sensitive actions, such as games or fun interactions, while keeping administrative tasks private. In addition to these core settings, there are numerous other ways to customize your bot. Remember to always reboot your bot after making any changes. To do this, use the command reboot. This allows for the integration of the new change to take effect swiftly. The possibilities are virtually endless, and the more you experiment, the more you'll discover. In case you want me to make a tutorial on the remaining settings you should change. Let me know in the comment section. As you continue customizing your bot, it's important to stay updated. Developers frequently release updates that introduce new features, fix bugs, and enhance performance. To check for updates, use the command update. Regularly checking for updates ensures that your bot remains functional and secure. If you're new to WhatsApp bots, this might feel overwhelming, but don't worry, you don't need to configure everything at once. Start with the basics, such as changing the prefix and setting the time zone, then gradually explore more advanced features like plugins and sudo access. Deploying and customizing a WhatsApp bot is an exciting journey. It not only enhances your messaging experience, but also introduces you to the fascinating world of automation. I hope this video has provided you with valuable insights into how to customize your WhatsApp bot for maximum efficiency and personalization. Remember, these settings and features are just the beginning. The true power of a WhatsApp bot lies in its adaptability, allowing you to tailor it to your exact needs. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel for more in-depth tutorials and tech tips like this one. Make sure to ring the notification bell so you never miss an update. I also encourage you to watch the next videos on the right side of your screen. They dive deep into the top features of WhatsApp bots that you should start using, showcasing their incredible potential. If this video amazed you, I'm confident they will blow your mind even more. See you there.